Hey guys, so I think I'm going to start a self-text series. So today we're going to learn how to switch out the hop-up bucking. Now I already switched out my hop-up bucking in my JGM4. Here's the old bucking. And I don't know if you can see that, but this thing is messed up. I've had this thing for around three years now, and it's it's all messed up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the magazine. And then we're going to pull this little pin out. I'm going to push up on the, up the receiver while pushing down on the lower. And this. And we can take out and move the barrel, the inner barrel. If I can get out the inner barrel. One second. So here's the inner barrel. And we can put this one to the side. We'll need it later. Now Here's where the fun begins. What we have to do first is remove this little clip right in the side of the hop-up unit. This is what keeps the um the inner barrel in the thing and keeps it from spinning around like this. So now we can slowly remove the oh, or quickly remove the hop-up unit. The from the inner barrel. Here's the little piece that keeps the barrel in place. And here's the bucking. Now we can slide off the bucking. And then we can replace it. <laughs> this is the same one, if you're wondering. Now there's a little notch in there. You see the little notch? That notch is going to slide over and onto this thing. This little end right here. So you just slide it up like so. And slide it on. And it clicks into place. Almost, I, I guess. Push this little piece up. Then we take the hop unit. And we slide it in. If if you're having trouble sliding it in, you can actually get some silicone oil and grease this thing up. You can grease the inside too. I already did. I'm just showing you how. But yeah, you know. And then you can slowly slide this piece in. The bucking. It will take a while. There we go. If you have it greased right, it should go in fine. Then you push this little piece in. And you take the clip. And you put it back onto the... There. Like that. Clicks into place. And it doesn't move. It should be sturdy. Now you can actually... Switch out the inner barrel, like I did with mine. This is the old inner barrel. CTV inner barrel. I switched out for an M4 carbine length one. And it fits perfectly in my M4. Put this back. Now we can take our M4 again and place the, the inner barrel inside so that it goes into this little hole here. There you go. 
fits in nicely. And then making sure these two little prongy things here don't aren't left behind. Squeeze them in. While pushing these this in. And there you go. Also make sure that the bolt catch doesn't get stuck in there too. And you can push this little pin back in. And there you go. It's all nice and ready to be used again. Very good. Now, I would like your opinion. What else should I teach you guys how to do? Leave me a comment or send me a PM. Cause, but yeah, I'll have many more. I have many more ideas for this self tech series. But yeah, anyway, um, leave me a comment. I would like to know or have your input. But anyway, remember to subscribe and like this video. Eight Hawk signing out.